Hey guys, my name is David. Congratulations on your trailer. I'm going to be doing a walkthrough on your trailer. My number is 250-792-0591. If you guys have any questions or concerns, feel free to give me a text or a call. So we'll just start at the front of the trailer. We'll work our way around and then work our way to the inside of the trailer. So you got your electric jack. You got up, down. You got a work light. So that's just at nighttime so you can see what you're doing. On the top here, you have a manual crank, so if the jack ever failed, you can manually crank the jack up. And if your batteries are ever dead on the trailer, you can plug the trailer 7-pin into the truck, and you can also get your 12-volt power that way to operate the jack and the slide if you guys are ever camping and your battery dies and you have no other way of getting the slide and the jack up. You got your tongue lock. That we supply a pin here, a tongue lock pin for you. You got your safety chains. These got to be on the truck when you're traveling. So your seven pin does your clearance, your brake lights, your turn signals, and your charge cable to your battery. And it also does your brake operation. You got your propane cover. You got an easy access panel up top. You just take these little nuts, loosen them off, flip this forward, and there's your propane tanks. So they're on right now. So go inside and I'll show you how that operates after. So we got the propane tanks on and then inside you got a regulator with this little valve here. You can turn it to whichever tank you want to operate from. There's a little arrow on it right here. You can see where my thumb's pointing. So right now the arrow is pointing toward me so that's going to be drawing from this propane tank. And then to turn the other way you'll be drawn from that tank. You got your 12 volt battery. It's fully charged. So with the seven pin doing your braking operation, you also have a trailer brake switch, breakaway switch. Let me find it here. It's right here, right on the side of the side of the frame. So what happens is this gets connected to the truck. So if the trailer ever becomes disconnected from the truck, this will pull this pin, which will operate the brakes. So it's just a safety feature. And that being said, when that's done, or sorry, when that is uh, operating, if your battery's dead, your brakes won't apply. So it's very important when you guys are going traveling that you have a fully charged 12 volt battery on the trailer, ready to go. So you've got storage compartments, magnetic locks. You've got a battery disconnect switch. So you turn this off and what that does is disconnects power from the battery. So if you're concerned about drains or anything on your battery and long-term storage, you can turn that off. But that being said, with that off and your trailer plugged in, your battery will not charge. So you've got uh, stabilizer jacks on all four corners of the trailer. They're not meant for lifting the trailer up to change a the tire. They're just meant to come down, touch the ground. You might want to use blocks underneath. Just enough pressure to get the wiggle out of the trailer. You got your forward gray tank. So your gray tank is your forward sink. So you got your pull valve here. You'll have your hose hooked up obviously. And then in to close it. And you got your cap. Twist that on. Marker light. You got a fire escape window on this side. You got your fridge. Fridge vents, so this is your intake, that's your outtake. This little thing hanging here, that is the uh, freezer drain. So when you're done camping and you unplug the trailer, you put it away for storage, the freezer will melt and it'll drain the water out that hose. You got your exterior shower, it's 751 key on your key ring that we supply you with the trailer. You got your black tank flush, what this is, is you keep your black valve open, so you take your cap off, you'll be hooked up in the sight. You'll have that coming into a hose. So your black tank flush is basically a jet inside the tank, like a wand. You put uh, your garden hose on, you turn it on, and it just sprays in the tank to keep it clean. You just want to keep the black valve open, so there's no chance of uh, the tank overfilling if you by chance forget and it'll come out the roof. So you got your fresh water connection. So this is to fill your onboard tank on the unit. So once it's full, it'll drain out the front and let you know it's full. 
City Water Connection. So City Water Connection with your starter kit, we give you a pressure reducer. So you want to use that on the connection because a lot of sites are different pressures. So you got your black tank and your gray tank. So your black tank is your waste. So that is your bodily fluids. Um, so that is your black candle here. And when you're camping, keep this closed and keep an eye on your monitor panel inside. You want to make sure you're about half or three quarters full and then pull it. And then when it's done draining, close it again. If you have it open all the time, what will happen is the solids will build up and the liquids will drain away. And then eventually it'll just clog the system. So you always want to make sure that's closed and then open it when you're about half or three quarters full. Gray, you can leave open. And the gray is your bathroom sink and your shower and your exterior kitchen. So you get a 30 amp plug with the trailer. So that plugs in and you'll want to get, I think in the uh, starter kit, there is an adapter for it from a 30 to a 15. So you can plug it into your house and have it charging or use the trailer. You got your back tailgate mount. So this is basically pull these pins. It'll flop down on its side and you can use it as storage. You also have your barbecue mounting bracket. So with this unit in the forward uh, passenger side compartment, there is an exterior barbecue. So you can hook that up on here. And then there's is a propane line that'll go to the stove and then it'll go right into there. That little blue tag's hanging down. There's a propane connection there. You got your exterior kitchen. You wanna make sure this latches up pull it out and you can lock it you got your hot you got your cold and this drains into the gray tank so be cautious to check your uh, your levels inside when you're using this you just lock it down for travel you got an exterior fridge this works on 110 uh, so you want to make sure you're plugged in. This does not work on 12 volts. So this fridge will only work when you're plugged in. And this has magnetic latches to this door. So you shut her down, lock the pins. What else we got over here? We got a 15 amp service here. So you can plug a stereo or you can bring the TV outside, have it out here and have TV outside. You have cable for the TV as well. You have your hot water tank. So your hot water tank is propane and electric. So the electric setting is right there on, you gotta come outside and hit that on. And then that'll be the 110 element inside the tank. The propane operation is done from inside the unit. furnace gets hot so just be careful that control is inside as well the unit is wired for solar so you can get a standalone solar panel that'll prop up outside and you just plug it in here and just make sure it's the Furion brand and it can be up to a 10 amp charge you got another storage here here's your exterior barbecue I was talking about and then here you have a working light inside and then this switch here beside it is for the front LED strips on the front nose cap. And the doors are slammed shut, so you just have to slam it and it shuts. Okay, we'll go inside. So we'll start off on the control panel first. So you got your battery level. So battery plugged in will always give you a full charge to get a true reading. You want to unplug the 30 amp cord outside, the shore power, and that'll give you a true reading of your battery. Fresh, black, gray, gray two, all empty. You got your water pump switch. So that's when you fill your tank outside and it pours out, letting you know it's full. That's the switch you want to create pressure for the uh, inside unit. You got your water heater. That's the propane I was talking about outside so this is your propane water heater switch you got lights one will be for your awning strip outside uh, led and the other one's interior lights you got your awning control in 
That's coming in now. There we go. You got your slide control in and out. We'll bring that in after I'm done the video. So while we're here, we'll do the propane first. So when you change tanks on your propane, you get new tanks coming in. You want to bleed it from the stove because when you take the pigtails off the tank, sometimes you get air in the system. You want to come here, make sure you turn one of these on. And just let it bleed out the air. And then once that's done, all the other uh, appliances should work as such. So you got your fan, for your hood fan, you got a light. So once that's bled, you can come down and you can light the stove. It's kind of hard to do this uh, with one hand. So what I'm doing here is going from off to the little flame and I push in. And then once I push that in, I'm gonna turn this igniter to the right clockwise.